welcome to my next camera trap setup and uh, not just my next camera trap setup but welcome to winter as well it's uh, it's really parky today um, we had a real hard frost last night uh, the first one really of this winter um, it dropped well below freezing and it, there's a, still quite a lot of frost lying about and uh, I thought I'd just show you my next camera trap setup which I've set up against this fantastic backdrop here uh, following on from my from my last uh, my last video which um, for those of you who have seen it uh, may remember I got some really nice photos of the fox um, if you haven't seen it I'll leave a I'll leave a box up here uh, so you can go back and watch it but uh, <clears throat> I mentioned in the last video that um, I've been getting quite a lot of activity uh, on my tra uh, trail camera and um, and that's where I've moved to I'm only I'm only a few meters away a good few meters away from where I was last last time but uh, I thought it's Right on cue, I thought I'd try and get a shot of the foxes or badgers coming coming through this this fallen tree walking through the arch. It's a it's um it's a location I've used in the past and uh, I got some nice shots of the badger but I had the camera the other side of the tree looking this way. Um I'm doing it as a three light setup. I've got a main light just above uh, above the camera to the right light in the main part and I've got a, a fill light just on, on the left hand side of the camera and in the back just behind just behind this fallen tree I've got another light facing this way with uh, with a bit of backlight to hopefully uh, create a nice bit of backlight behind the subject I so see I really would like to uh, try and have a go at a different subject other than the foxes and the badgers but uh, being in the UK and being one of the the most wildlife deprived countries going I think uh, we are quite limited on the on our wildlife and foxes and badgers are the, well in this area I know that a lot of parts of the country uh, you get a lot of deer roe deer and fallow deer and red deer but in this part of the country they're just not here I've, I've been walking this sort of area for the last close on 20 years and um, it was only quite recently I saw a munt jack and, and that's that's the only deer I've ever seen in this area so um, you know it, it, there's only foxes and badgers and rodents and uh, not much else besides really that you can uh, aim your cameras at there are a few other mustelids stoats and weasels but to get them on a camera trap you know it's pretty hard going but uh, there you go anyway, we're still after the foxes. Uh, I've just set my camera up down here looking up looking up into this uh, up into this arch. And just for a little bit of fun, how many of you uh, eagle-eyed viewers out there can spot the little animal in this image that's triggered the camera on this occasion? Can you see it? No? Well it was in fact this this little wood mouse. Well done if you spotted it. I have to say it took me quite a while to see it. I can say I've, I've had a bit of activity here on the um, trail cameras. As uh, as you can see in this footage, there seems to be a lot of activity going on recently. Um, with foxes coming in and scent marking. Uh, there seems to be a lot of scent marking going on at the moment. <coughs> and um, that's what they're using this spot for, I think. So I thought this would be an ideal place to set up my next camera trap. It's one of the first things I do when I arrive back at my camera trap is to check that it's it's still firing and um, it's not firing for some reason. I, I think it might have been um, maybe the cable from the sensor uh, wasn't quite pushed home properly. Either that or um, it's been pulled, you know, over the weekend. I'll have to check the uh, trail camera footage, see see if there's uh, anything that's disturbed it or whether it. it, it might, probably just my error I, I just haven't pushed it home but it, it was um, all the system was working when I left it uh, last Friday but uh, unfortunately um, it wasn't working when I arrived back so um, I've checked everything now Every, everything's up, 
working fine, all the flashes are going off. So I'll get all this covered up now and uh, leave it for a few more days and we'll come back in a few days time and check it again and uh, we'll take a look then to see if anything's been um, to see if everything everything's fired as it should have done hopefully it will this time but uh, there we go we'll, we'll find out in a few days time I'll see you then After the first big storm of the winter last week, and with the forecast of a second storm on the way, I decided it was, it was time to take this setup down. It hadn't given me any images in the last couple of weeks, and all the earlier activity I'd seen on my trail camera had just seemed to have stopped. It was, only, it was only later when I got all my equipment home that I realised on the very last night I had, in fact, had a, had a visit from, the, from a badger. And although only two out of my three flashes had fired, I still managed to salvage this constellation image. So thankfully, it wasn't a complete waste of time. Well, as 2021 is drawing to a close, I'd like, I'd like to thank all of you who have been commenting and subscribed to the channel and followed along with my camera trapping exploits this year. I really hope it's given you the inspiration to get out and give it a try. I can honestly say it, it, it is a method of wildlife photography that has given me some of my best images ever, including one or two award winners. So if you have, have any questions regarding camera trapping, please, please feel free to ask in the comments and I'll do my best to answer them for you. I hope to be getting out again soon, but in the meantime, I'll leave you with a few of the images I've managed to capture throughout the year. So take care and I'll see you soon.